Now, scientists are warning that across Siberia, vast areas normally frozen all year round are now thawing with potentially devastating consequences for the global climate. In the second of his reports from Chorapcha in the remote Yakutia region, our correspondent Steve Rosenberg looks at how the thawing permafrost is affecting not just the climate but also the landscape and livelihoods of those living there. Something rather strange is happening in Siberia. In the town of Churapcha, these are the scars of climate change. Rising temperatures mean that the frozen ground, the permafrost, is thawing, leaving a Siberian Teletubby land of mounds and hollows, ponds and lakes. It means less pasture land and more trouble getting around. Climate change has been causing all kinds of problems here. Where we're driving now was completely flat 20 years ago. There was actually an airport here, and this was the runway. But because the permafrost has been thawing, the ground has fallen away. The result? No more planes here now. Siberia has a whole city built on permafrost. Yakutsk. Uh, now we stay in 12 meters under surface. Deep underground, they're monitoring the rate at which the soil is thawing. Because that affects not just the city, but the climate too. And this is the permafrost, yeah? Yes, it's uh, permafrost. Uh, you see this layer, it's uh, enriched the uh, organic matter, the shrubs, uh, grass and... And what happens when the permafrost thaws? Organic matter uh, contains uh, a lot of uh, gases, uh, greenhouse gases. And uh, when uh, permafrost thawing, they can go into air. So the more the permafrost thaws, the more gases go into the atmosphere. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely right. Scientists believe that this year's forest fires in Siberia have accelerated permafrost thawing as far north as the Arctic Circle, contributing to global warming. But back in Churapcha, Ilya has no time to think about the fate of the planet. He's too busy plugging holes to try to stop this permafrost pond from becoming a lake and washing away the house he's building. All the scrap he can find, he's dumping to insulate the permafrost. As for the house, like all the buildings here, stilts are essential to avoid that sinking feeling. They say that global warming started. So I don't know what's going to happen. But I'll leave that to my children to solve that problem. <laughs> I'm too old to do it. But what will Siberia be like for Ilya's children if climate change isn't tackled now? At risk are whole communities and livelihoods. As it is, the land here, bizarre, disfigured, is already a permanent reminder that change is happening. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Siberia.